Well, they took my baby, took my baby and gone. Oh, yeah. Train our. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So I see the police, the FBI, whoever. Um, did arrest uh, Caesar Pena, but he has since I, I heard posted a million dollar bail. Um, but he's on an electronic bracelet. Tony, uh, shout out to Tony the Closer, and I hope everybody that is involved with this and who has lost money uh, because of this, I. I hope, but, you know, chances are it's really bleak and really dim that you're, you're going to recover any funds from this. Let me say something. DJ Envy, to me, in my opinion, I didn't think he came across as humble enough. Um, I didn't think that it was acceptable for him to, soon as he found out one person said something happened or as soon as he got defrauded or he didn't get anything back for his 500000 I would have made that announcement to the radio just like I brought people in. Because I would figure if a person would scam me and I'm the one that gave you this platform, then I know I'm going to be next, and I'm going to be first. So I would already try to get my name out of it. Not wait until all the bricks start falling down and then decide, oh, I'm a victim too. So, I, you know, I really don't know about that, but that's just how I feel about it. And I know you got a lot of kids, and you got kids in college. So people say, oh, why would he do that on his salary? Like he make that much money. Like a uh, extra a few million when you want to drive the cars that he drive the house that he lives in children in college that shit gets very expensive and anybody that has children in college can tell you that I mean according to NBC New York according to them this all right this. Tonight, an I-Team exclusive investigation involving a real estate deal and one of the most recognizable voices in radio. Investors in a real estate venture say they were swindled out of millions of dollars. And they argue syndicated radio rapper Rashawn Casey, better known as DJ Envy from the show DJ The Breakfast Club, promoted these deals. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace talked to the alleged victims and has the response to those mounting accusations you're about to hear for the first time. We've helped so many people, not just regular people, but celebrities, mm -hmm. athletes, executives. That's and DJ Envy on his syndicated iHeart Radio show, The Breakfast Club. He's often promoted the real estate venture of his pal, Cesar Pena. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ. But it's more than just a passing endorsement. You can partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. And me and Cesar have teamed up for seminars, including one at the Jacob Javits Convention Center, pitching opportunities to flip properties, often in distressed areas of New Jersey. We invest $200,000 and it looks like we're never going to get it back. Jose Santiago and his wife Jessica Ortiz say they believe investing in this neighborhood of Patterson would be their ticket to the American dream. As a reason why I got into real estate so we can actually start flipping properties, buying properties so we can have something for our kids in the future. The couple says they connected with entrepreneur Caesar after seeing him on social media with DJ Envy. He's advertising this all over the radio and um, 
television. I've seen shows on him all over the place, so I thought this was legit. The pitch to invest in rundown properties that would be renovated and flipped for more money. The promised return up to 30%. In some cases, Caesar didn't even own the properties. This couple took out $200,000 in equity from their Florida home, promised that 30% return within four months. Then they say nothing. I'm paying the interest right now every month, and I have nothing. Well, at this point, we just want our money back. Nigel Chamblin says he was conned by Caesar into investing $235,000 in that same Patterson property, along with two others, $300,000 each for homes in Hawthorne and in Maplewood. $835,000 in total on all three houses. There were other people investing in the exact same properties. It was a scam. It was a lie. <laughs> Augie Rios owns a custom auto wrap shop in Lodi, who says he worked on Envy's cars for years oh, and believed his pitch. He did get back a return on an initial investment with Caesar, but maintains a second investment on this Patterson property went south. If it wasn't for DJ Envy, I would have never invested into Caesar. I lost a total of $64,000. After receiving two bounce checks, Rio says he got a visit from Caesar <laughs> carrying this box of jewelry. He said, uh, take this jewelry until I can pay you back. How much did he say this was worth? 15, 20 grand. Then there's record producer Anthony Martini, who invested in what he thought was a promising apartment project in Patterson. I lost a million dollars. And you went in because of DJ Envy. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, you know, I, I've known Envy for for years. Martini's attorney has filed a lawsuit. Uh, some sort of Ponzi-like scheme where he's taking money uh, from one investor to pay off other other investors. They're wow. looking at over forty million dollars invested with the Pinis in their companies. Breaking news here on Tony the Closer's live. Shout the complaint to Tony floodgates the opened up when alleged victims started appearing on the social media platform of influencer Tony the Closer, a self-proclaimed. I just want you to know, let me stop this. People that are in our community that are taking people's money, whether they have good ideas or not, but none of their ideas have come to fruition. You know who you are. You know who you are. You the main one got the nerve to get on there and talk about uh, other people. Well, that's another story. Let me stop. I'm sick of these people taking money. And I'm sick of y'all being so damn gullible that, um, you, you know, you leave yourself open to stuff like this happening. You know, I get why why you want to invest cash. I know circumstances where a lot of y'all, you know, you probably just don't want to go to legitimate places and you want to hide your money in other places, but that's not always good. I think the time for that is over with because people are too disingenuous and there's too many of them and there's too many y'all dealing with more money than uh, uh, black people, especially young black entrepreneurs, have ever had. So it's a whole different ball game. It really is, and this is my humble opinion. Let's finish this, because AB. Um, I thought NBC News out of New York. I think they did a very good job explaining this in its totality with Tony the Closer and Senior. I uh, mean, uh, Caesar Pena and everybody else that had been involved in this damn scheme, stealing from people's babies and their grandbabies. And real estate scam watchdog. I decided to make it where everybody will know the, the, the disgusting behavior that they're practicing. Dozens of lawsuits have now been filed against Caesar and his wife. Several also name Envy, who has sued Tony the Closer for defamation after also going on with him live. And there's nobody in here that could ever say Envy, they gave Envy a dollar. 
Envy, whose real name is Rashawn Casey, declined to talk to the I-team, referring us to a powerful Manhattan real estate attorney. He says the radio personality lost half a million dollars to the penis in an investment deal to transform this vacant school building in Patterson into rental units. He is a victim, just like the other alleged victims are in connection with the scam. Why, if he's a victim, hasn't he filed a lawsuit against the penis? He has a legal right to file whenever he deems fit. He Listen. is now- Listen to this pompous, arrogant, um, hotshot, wannabe, Perry Mason ass dude. Contending with cases that are being filed every day improperly against him. Why not come out on his radio show and warn other alleged victims if he feels that he was. This is a, it's an ongoing, uh, they're ongoing litigations uh, and, and there's no room for them on, you know, any sort of radio show. A lot of people say they bought in because of Envy's reputation. Does he not have some responsibility? Absolutely not. The only reason why Envy is sued is to sensationalize the case. The attorney is seeking dismissals of all the lawsuits. As for the penis, we caught up with Caesar's wife, Jennifer, in Bergen County. Do you have anything to say to now the alleged girl, victims? Caesar. I say, you know, Envy just hold tight and we're going to come through. Now, where's the money? Listen, that's a Caesar answer for you. I can't give you that answer. He wants to be here with you. He wants to do the sit down. He wants to have this interview. He wants to clear the air. He wants to explain his side and he wants people to understand what's going on but you know he's been advised to not talk there may be some hope for investors a judge has appointed a bankruptcy court trustee to oversee some of the penis properties any available assets could eventually be sold off to pay alleged victims from patterson sarah wallace news for new york okay, attention okay i take well, good luck with that. I hope so. I hope they are able to recoup some of their money back because that's quite a big bit of money. Uh, and to be promoting a scheme um, and leaving people out of a millions and millions of dollars, I wish. I wish. What y'all think about that? That's all I want to know. What do you think about this DJ Envy story? You think he's guilty? Or you think not? You think he should be arrested along with Caesar Pena since uh, iHeartRadio have gotten their headquarters computers confiscated? Uh, what do you think? So they can be scrubbed Right now, DJ Envy is working um, with the uh, feds, so he hasn't been arrested. I don't know if he's going to stay on the Breakfast Club, and I don't know if somebody's going to eventually end up suing them for allowing DJ Envy to use their airwaves to promote Ponzi schemes or payola or whatever. This is a deep, deep situation. You know? So with that being said, you know, I'm just going to say, DJ, what's done in the dark will come to the light. That's all I got to say. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Now tell me who.